What's going on guys? Michael here from twitch.tv slash slay3d. Today it is my goal to give you guys a quick, easy to understand guide on how to set up your TSM selling operations. There's a lot of videos out there. Most of them are really long, really complicated, really confusing. I want to make this easy enough for everyone to understand it and set it up because TSM can be really complicated if you make it that way. But once you grasp what's going on, it's really simple. Once you got it set up, it's really simple. So if this video helps you out, please drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go on forward with the video. So first off, let's take a look at my bags. I have, I purposely for this video made sure that my bags were full because I want to show you guys how easy and simple it is to dump all this onto the auction house like that for accurate prices. If you're one of those guys that looks up what everything is worth and has to manage it, dude, you're spending out. You know how freaking long, how many hours it would take me just to list all this stuff if I was to look every single thing up? TSM knows what all this is worth, but you have to set it up correctly for it to. And I, after doing God knows how many hours of research, I think I've come up with, I've come across what I believe are the perfect settings, or at least close to perfect. So, first off, you are going to need to download the desktop application and all the TSM add-ons. If you haven't done this yet, I'm going to post a link in the description below uh, to get the TSM uh, desktop add-on or the TSM desktop application. This is just a program. It runs on the background of your desktop. It scans the, all the auction houses um, from like all the different servers and that's where it pulls your price. It pulls the average from, uh, that's that's pretty much where your where TSM pulls what the prices are. It pulls the averages from all the servers. You need to get that. You don't want to have to scan the auction house all the time. It doesn't take up hardly any resources on your computer. TSM desktop application required. Okay. Once you have that installed, just let it run in the background. Every time you're on, turn it on, let it run in the background of your computer. All right. Now, assuming that you have TSM and all of the TSM uh, add-ons installed, uh, which if you don't, you just need to download the Curse Client, search Trade Skill Master, and download it. But if you're watching this video, you probably have all that already. So we're just going to swipe, swipe, swipe. We're not going to swipe. We're not druids here. We're going to type slash TSM. It's going to pull up TSM features, blah, blah, blah. You want to click Groups. And I have two things set up here, BOE non-stackables and trade goods. Obviously, one of them is for things that don't stack, and one of them is for things that do. We're keeping it simple here, guys. So BOE non-stackables, right? Now I purposely have a bunch of ungrouped things here. If you haven't set this up yet, you're not going to have anything in group items. These are things I've already transferred over. So these are all items in my bags that I haven't added to a group yet. So we are going to click all of them. Go ahead and if you have greens or you have anything, any buy non equips in your bags, you want to select them all. There we go. Now we're going to click add and it puts all that stuff into the group. Now we got everything in a group called BOE non stackables. Perfect. Now we just have to tell TSM what price to put on them. To do that, we have to create an operation. So you're just going to click on operations right here. It says, uh, auctioning, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you don't have anything yet, you're probably going to have you're probably going to have no operation is what yours is going to say and you're going to click create new operation. So create a new operation, call it sell BOE non stackables. And then you're going to come to this page. And you're going to want to click post because we're going to set post settings, right? So I like to do 48 hours just because I don't like play enough to get on every 12 hours and check to see if I've been undercut it or not. I want to list this stuff for 48 hours and I don't want to freaking touch it. Okay. That's, that's me. There's other people on YouTube and other gamers out there. Maybe even some of you guys who are different, but this works for me. It makes it to where it's less hassle for me to keep checking it. Post cap. I put that on 200 just because I don't care if I have multiple duplicates stack size. Uh, this doesn't really matter because we're selling, we're selling non stackables. Keep quantity. This is like if you want to keep a certain quantity of the item in your bag. If you have this set up on a bank tune, then you're just going to keep this to zero because you're wanting to sell everything that's on the bank tune. But if you do want to use this, you want to keep it like, say you have like, I don't know, like a skinning knife and you want to make sure you keep one and sell the rest. That's just an example. Max expires. Now you may want to use this. Um, 
So like, let's say I set this to five, right? If I set this to five, after I've listed something five times and it didn't sell five times, it is no longer going to uh, post it anymore. It'll be left in my bag after everything else is already posted. So this is very useful because some of this transmog stuff, dude, it just doesn't sell very quickly. So, you know, after you sell it five times or 10 times or you list it five or 10 times, it doesn't sell. If you guys want to disenchant it, you can or find something else out or maybe lower your price. You can adjust it, right? Um, undercut amount. I keep this to one copper because if I'm undercutting somebody by one copper or by a thousand gold, it doesn't matter. I'm still undercutting him and I'm like 10 times more likely to sell it. So might as well only do the minimum one copper, right? Because you're, that way you maximize your profit. Um, you want to set when below minimum, post at normal price, and when above maximum, post at maximum price. Now, this is where it can get complicated if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But like to make this simple as possible, I'm posting this string right here in the uh, description box below. Copy it and paste it in minimum price, maximum price, normal price. That's all you need to know, and just trust me, it's going to post a super accurate price. For those of you who want to know what this means, uh, it's really simple to understand. DB market, DB market, DB market, DB region market average. So pretty much what this is doing is it's taking the average of DB market, which DB market, market is your server, like I'm on Thrall. So the DB market is the prices on Thrall. DB region market is, in my case, I'm US, so it's all the US uh, servers combined, right? So I'm taking the average of three DB markets, which is, a, you know, my, my server, and then DB region market, which is all the US servers. And what this does, DB region market is typically a little bit higher than DB market. So it averages three DB markets with DB region market, and it, it just gives you a really nice, really nice average. Uh, like, I just, it just works, dude. It works really well. Uh, it's kind of complicated to explain, but just trust me, like, it works, man. I don't really know what else to say about it. It gives you a very accurate price because it averages just really well. So, again, post normal price, post at maximum price. That's it. That's all you have to do to set this up. Um, sell trade goods stackables you pretty much just do the same thing um, the only difference is I actually I need to set that up but uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and set that up right now I'm going to change I had that set to something different earlier I've been testing different things but this works really well so we're gonna go post uh, for this we're, let's just do 48 hours again post cap 200 I like selling things in stacks of 20 uh, and then we're gonna leave the undercut price alone one copper paste Okay, paste, okay, paste, okay. And then post at normal price, post at maximum price. And then we're done. I'm gonna hit close, hit enter slash reload because you always wanna reload your UI after you make any changes. Uh, it's just good to do that because sometimes stuff doesn't save right if you don't reload it. Uh, so and after that we're gonna go back to our group and make sure that it took there are changes took before we go and post up on the auction house we see that it did take all right now I'm going to go and post like what are these 30 slot bags 3 6 9 12 16 so 136 items I'm gonna post 136 items and I'm gonna show you guys that these prices are accurate so you pull up TSM this is where we're at here and you're going to pull up auctioning. Now I got BOE non stackables and trade goods um, selected. You just hit start post scan. Now TSM is going to start scanning your bags for all the items in your bags. And it's going to pull the average of DB market, DB market, DB market, and DB region market. It's going to average those four numbers together. Um, the reason why you put DB market in there three times is because it makes it like more of an average, like more closer to what market is, but just a little higher than if you were to only do one DB market and one DB region market. Now I suck at math, but like I hope that makes sense to you guys. Okay guys, we're back. I went ahead and edited that because it does take a minute to scan 142 items. Um, but you can see here, like I said, we looked at the belt of the bear. So all you have to do is start posting. You just start spamming post. 
post, post, post. And you can do this as fast as you want. I'm going to stop here and there just to check prices. Um, let's look at this, the good one. Let's see. Ice pick of the beast. 176 gold is what we're pulling here. Uh, you can see market value is 161, region market 223. So it's a little above market unless someone already has it posted and then it's going to undercut them based on what their price is. Uh, we got something here. We got a pattern for 4,513. Uh, market value is 4,104. Region market's 5,700. So you can see prices are pretty damn on point, and I didn't have to look that up. 3,700. Uh, market's 32. Region's 44. That's a pretty solid price. I mean, and you're just gold farming, right? You're just going out and looting this stuff. So whether it sells for 35 or 4,000 or whatever, you're not having to spend every freaking second of your free time to see what this stuff is is worth you're just spamming it right like you're just posting it fact, like, look look at my bags you can see this stuff is just disappearing out of my bags let's see this one here is 1226 but that's uh see markets 1500 region markets 393.92 so you can see that posted a little bit less because the region market is a little lower than what the market value is um 3580 gold Market is 4,000 and region market's a little lower, so it posted an average and it's a little lower. Like these prices, I love it, man. Like I'm really, I'm really happy about it. I'm excited. 1,015, market's 1,052, region market's 904. I mean, you guys can see that these prices are, are pretty spot on and you don't have to like, like I, I I have total faith in this. I don't feel like I have to cross reference or like double check any of my prices. I am totally confident in these settings for my TSM. Uh, boom! Just posted 140 something things. Just like that. Total value of my auctions is 98 thousand gold. Looks like I sold 69 gold worth of something there recently. But yeah, guys, that's. That's pretty much it, man. It's that simple. Set you up a bank tune, park his ass by the auction house in the bank or the, the mailbox, um, get TSM desktop application, download TSM and all the add-ons, which I'll show you guys all the add-ons that goes with it. Uh, you got master accounting additions, blah, 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 all that stuff that you see listed there. And the ones checked are the only ones that I really even use. You can get into that other stuff, but again, we're keeping it nice and simple. Uh, yeah, man. I don't think I don't think there's anything else to add. It's really not that complicated if you just follow everything that I did and copy my settings. You guys will be good. You'll be saving time doing all your your gold farming and your auctioning and this and that. And that's it, man. If you guys have any questions, you want to learn something, you got a question, come see me twitch.tv slash slate3d. I live stream me and Amber over here who is right. Boom, right there. There she is. You gonna smile? <laughs> yeah, twitch.tv slash slay3d. Uh,